We're in Windows Server 2012 R2 Failover Cluster Manager, and we're going to do a quick migration. A quick migration you can do by right-clicking on the virtual machine, going to the Move option, Quick Migration. You can choose Best Possible Node if you have multiple different nodes. We only have two, so we'll just go to Select Node. And there's our other node, and we'll click OK. And now we'll watch what happens. So it says it's saving it. And you'll see the, the progress. You can watch the virtual machine as it does it. And it's almost done. And now we see that it's no longer available on Hyper-V1. So we'll go over to Hyper-V2. And we'll go ahead and see that it is starting up. Now, of course, while it is in this state, you can see that it's uh, the virtual machine is starting. And it's almost done. And we're back up. So the difference between live migration and quick migration is uh, during live migration, it stays up the entire time, whereas quick migration, the virtual machine is unavailable during the move, but it does move much more quickly. So if you want to keep your machine up the whole time, then I would say do live migration. But otherwise, you can do quick migration. Quick migration also works better on older operating systems like Windows XP and older uh, because sometimes live migration doesn't work on the older operating systems.